Oh, hey, friends. Welcome to Home Nastic, where we're all about finding the fun at home. We're going to do some bar work today. That's right. But first, our friends to join us. Oh, got some groovy tunes today. Yeah. Coach Tony, home nastics today, bringing you some fun. Woo. It's going to be a good, good day. I can feel it. We're going to do some handstands. We're going to do some frog jumps. We're going to do some casts. Yeah, yeah. Boop. Woo! Welcome, friends. Just having a little dance party while everybody joins us. Before we get moving, About 30 more seconds or so. Woo! Yeah! All right, friends. Let's get after it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Home Nastics. We're going to do some handstands. We're going to do some basic fitness. We're going to do some strength today. I'm Coach Tony. I'm your host. I'm with Ninja Monkey Jim. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Broadcasting live from Gemini Gymnastics, just outside of Chicago in lovely LaGrange, Illinois. As always, we are sponsored by Tumble Track. It's our goal every day to find ways to make you stay active stay safe, stay home, that we can find the fun together, you, me, all of our friends. If you've got a buddy who you think would really enjoy staying active at home and doing some of these exercises, share with them now. Come on, bring them to the party. We'd love to have them. Okay, if you've been to the home gymnastics program before, you know that we start every day with a good warm-up, then we do a handstand skill, then we do a strength challenge, and of course, we got to do our skills. So, hang out with me now. We're going to start with our skills away from the bar, because it's bar day. Yeah? Because it's bar day, this thing's kind of taking up a little bit of space. So we're going to blast off together, and we're going to hang out over there where there's a little bit more room so we can do our warm-up, okay? Are you ready? Let's go together. Here we go. Whoa. Coming down for a landing. Whoa, 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 whoa. How'd we do? You okay? Are you safe? Excellent. All right, friends. We're going to make a little bit of space for ourselves by putting some of our chairs over. If you don't have enough space for yourself, well, then you should move some stuff around. We're going to start with frog jumps today for our warm-up. Yeah, frog jumps are great. They get your legs nice and warmed up and strong, but they also help you practice jumping higher and higher. The more frog jumps you do, you're just going to get better at jumps. So let's do some together. Watch me first so that you know what, what to do for our warm-up, all right? You're going to squat all the way down. Make sure that your booty goes all the way down to your heels. And then you're going to jump as high as you can, stretching out super long. Okay, so it looks like this. I go down and up. Whoa. Yeah, the higher, the better. All right, let's do eight. Yeah, let's do eight together. All right, we're going to do them with me. Ready? All right, 
We're going to squat all the way down, jump all the way up. Here we go. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa. That was really good. Okay, now our legs are nice and warm. Let's do something to get our arms kind of warm too. All right? Maybe we could do something like frog jumps, but we're not going to be able to jump off of our hands like that on the ground. That would be super cool. But let's try an easier version. Instead, let's find a wall like this one. Yeah, but one that's nice and strong, one that's we're not going to hurt, and one that's not going to hurt us. All right? So we want a nice, safe wall with nothing on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands on it and put our feet back a little bit so that we're leaning. Now we can kind of do frog jumps with our hands like this. Ribbit. Ribbit. Cool, huh? These are great. They actually help you get stronger push-ups and just stronger arms, shoulders, and back. Let's do eight together. Yeah? Hands on the wall, feet back, eight hops. Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, man. Good job, friends. Now our arms and our legs have lots of blood and energy in them. So we're all warmed up. Excellent. Okay. Now, you know in gymnastics, you always want to have couch cushions or chairs or stuffed animals around. Another great thing is to have some masking tape or some painter's tape. So I'm going to go grab mine. It's right over here. Yeah, this one. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a box on the floor because guess what? It's handstand time. Yeah. We're going to do a special handstand exercise today just for fun. And what we need is our masking tape and to make a box on the ground. Now, if you don't have any masking tape right next to you, well, you can kind of set out maybe your monkey or pillows so that you know, okay, that's my box. That's fine. I like using the masking tape. So me, I'm going to make a box with my masking tape. Like this. One strip. Yeah. Two strips. Yeah. Because remember, a square or a box has four sides. Yeah. Three. Last one, four. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. I love masking tape and painter's tape because if I can pull that off the ground and even if it's carpet or hardwood or tile, it's gonna keep that safe. I'm not gonna hurt it. Yeah, okay. So now I've got my masking tape box on the ground. I'm gonna tuck in my shirt because I'm not wearing a leotard because that might be kind of strange. Okay, I'm gonna kick up into a handstand inside my box. And here's the goal. I'm gonna walk on my hands. What? Yeah, I'm gonna walk on my hands, but I can't go outside the box. I've gotta stay inside the box. I wanna see how many steps I can take inside the box before I have to come down. Okay, so on purpose, I'm going to try and walk around, walk around, but I'm going to try and stay inside my box. Do you understand? Do you want to try it? Awesome. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, first thing I should do is probably practice a couple of handstands. So why don't you do the same? Maybe I'll do two or three handstands just to practice. 
All right, remember, we always lever in and lever out of our handstand. So let's make sure we practice that too. Lever in, handstand, lever out. Very good. Okay, let's do a couple more. Lever in, whoop, lever out. Excellent. Maybe one more. One more, okay? Lever in, whoop, lever out. Think. Okay, nailed that. Now, let's try our challenge. Let's see how many steps we can take inside of our box. Let's do it. You ready? Lever in. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, now I got to twelve. That's awesome. Okay, let's try it a few more times. Let's see if I can beat 12. Yeah? You try it too. See if you can beat 12. That would be amazing. All right, let's do it. Come on, friends. Lever in. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, I did fifteen that time. Whew. Let's do one more try. Okay? This is a really good workout. It's good for our brains, right? I've got to be thinking about walking and staying inside the box. So I got to lever in, lever up. There's a lot of things to think about. Okay, so make sure you're trying to think about all those things too. All right, let's do it. Here we go. One more, last one. Lever in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, no. <laughs> 16. Awesome. How many did you do? Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay, friends. We did our warm up and we did our handstand trainer. It's time for our strength challenge. That's right. Come on. Let's go back to the bar for this one. Ready? Oh, how do we do? Everybody safe? Okay. Still safe? Good. All right, friends. Now, today's skill challenge is going to be casts. So, our strength challenge is going to be something completely different. For our strength challenge today, we're going to roll down the bar and try to hold our chin on the bar for three gymnastics. Okay? So we get up on the bar, we roll down, and we go one gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. Woo! All right. So watch. Don't do. Just watch. Okay? For those of you who don't know what this is, just to make sure, this is a junior kip bar pro from tumble track. All right? One of the things that's awesome about the pro version is it's really strong. Like, really, really, really strong. So that's why it's great for somebody my size or somebody who's going to do some big swings ish on it at home. Okay? So I've got like the chunky one. And then I've got a couple build a mats under it to level it out. And I've got this home practice mat. All right? So that's my setup. Just so you know. And it's awesome. All right. So I'm going to get up on the bar. But wait a minute. What we remember from our past bars workouts is when we get up on the bar, we want to try and do it with straight arms. That's the best. Because we can always get up like this. <laughs> but we don't really learn anything when we do that. So if you can, try to get up on the bars and keep your elbows straight. Super strong, super long, and straight. Here we go. I bend my knees. Straight arms. Whoa. 
That's going to help me with my kip later. All right, now I'm going to roll down. We're going to try and do three gymnastics. It looks like this. I roll down. One gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. Just like that. Okay? All right. Let's try it. You ready? Everybody together now. We jump up. Whoop. We're going to roll down. Three gymnastics. Here we go. Whoo! One gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. That was my strength challenge for the day. How'd you do? Ooh. You know, you can challenge yourself even more by doing it for longer and longer and longer. Ten seconds. That's amazing. And what a great goal to set yourself, set for yourself. Maybe you could set it for like a month from now. Yeah. So you could say, all right, at the end of May, I'm going to be able to do my roll down and hold it for 10 gymnastics. <gasps> that would be awesome. And you could practice a little bit every day. Yeah. That's how you're going to get better at it and stronger. All right, all right. That was our strength challenge. Do you know what happens next? Our skill challenge. Yeah. All right, so let's do some skill work today. Today we're going to practice beats and casts. Now, remember when I was getting up on the bar a little bit earlier and I was saying, hey, you got to keep your arms long, strong, and straight? Well, when we practice our casts, that is the goal. Long, strong, straight arms. That's the best. We want to try and figure out how to cast on the bar with straight, strong arms. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, remembering straight, strong arms, is what's called beats. I'm going to get up on the bar, and I'm actually going to beat my toes forward with straight, strong arms. You ready? Just watch. Don't do. Just watch. Here we go. I jump up with straight arms. Whoop. And now with my super straight arms, I'm going to take my toes, I'm going to beat them forward. Beat. 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 Just like that. Okay, before you do it, some things to think about. If you are stronger and more flexible than I am, then you'll be able to fold a lot more than I do. It's called compression. We're going to compress our body, our shoulders closer to our toes. And when we create that kind of compression, we're going to be able to reverse it and create explosion. Yeah. So we're going to compress super small, as small as we can, and we're going to explode the other way. Ah! And that's how we're going to get a big cast off of the bar. Now, those are big words. What I really want you to think about is how far forward can you get your toes to go in front of the bar? The farther, the better. But strong, straight arms. The stronger, the better. All right? So I want you to imagine that there's like a soccer ball way out in front of this, and you're going to try and kick it. But your arms stay strong and straight. Let's try five beats. But let's do it twice. Okay, five beats, take a break, five beats, and then we'll move on. All right, let's try the first five. Here we go. Jump up, whoop, five beats. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Okay, now on the next five, I want you to actually try to stay on the bar. Try not to let your hips come off of the bar. Okay? Toes in front, kicking hard, but don't come off of the bar. Push, 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 push down so you stay on the bar. Last five. Here we go. Ready? And up. Five times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Man, on my fourth beat, I kind of bent my arms a little bit. So I've really got to focus on those straight, strong arms. All right? 
Good job, friends. OK, let's do the next step. We're going to come off of the bar with those beats. We're going to go beat off of the bar. Yeah, it's going to be great. OK, OK, OK. Before we do that, we have to review something very, very basic. Our plank. Oh my goodness, we do a lot of planks at home gymnastics, right? And we always think about Goldilocks and the three bears. OK, so let's go into our plank shape on the ground, not on the bar, on the ground. OK, so I'm going to put my feet back. And if we remember Goldilocks and the three bears, it goes like this. Too low, too high, just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like the too cold, too hot. I'm sorry. Kind of like the too hot, too cold, and the just right porridge. Well, we're going to do that with our planks, but we're going to go too high, too low, and just right. OK, let's do it. Let's go too high, too low, just right. Once we get to just right, let's spell my name. Yeah, C-O-A-C-H-T-O-N-Y. Coach Tony, here we go. OK, we're going to go too low, whoop. Go too high, whoop. Go just right, whoop, and spell my name, C O A. C H T O N Y. Pretty good. Excellent. OK, now that we remember just right, we're going to do our beats into our cast on the bars. And when we cast off, our goal is to make sure that we make just right shape. Not too low, not too high, just right. So watch. Don't do. Just watch, OK? I want to make sure that I am, uh, so here is what too low would look like, right? Whoop, whoop, whoop. OK, and here's what too high would look like. Whoop, whoop. So where is just right? Whoop. Did you see it? Yeah. I did just right. OK, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to go too low, too high, just right. Then you're going to come up on the bar and try five casts. And all five casts, you want them to be just right. OK, let's try it. Too low, whoop, too high, whoop, just right. OK, I think I got it. Let's see if we can do five casts just right. Here we go. Up on the bar with straight, strong arms. I keep them straight and strong, just right. One. Ooh, that was pretty good. I like that one. Got to lift my core. Two. Well, that one was maybe a little too high. Three. Ooh, I like that one. Four. That was nice, too. Five. Ah, I feel like that last one maybe was a little too low. Kind of had that banana back. Let's try the same thing one more time. Planks on the ground, casts on the bars. OK? Come on. Let's do it together. Too low. Whoop. Show me too high. Show me just right. Ooh, that's nice. OK, let's try it up here now, OK? Come on, friends. Here we go. Straight, strong arms getting up on the bar. Whoop, here we go. Ooh, that was a pretty good one. I like that one too. Three? I feel like too high. Four? It's definitely too low. Last one. Got to make it awesome. Five. Ha! That was great. OK. You're practicing your casts. It's really important to think man, am I too low? Am I too high? 
or am I just right? Yeah, the same thing is true when you try push-ups. Absolutely, all the time. Just right push-ups. Or a handstand. Yeah, am I open? Am I closed? What's the story? I want to be just right. Wow, good job today, friends. We did a lot of stuff, remember? We did some frog jumps over there. We walked on our hands inside of a box. We did a strength challenge where we rolled down. And your goal is to see if you can make a plan to have 10 second chin holds from your roll down in the next month. That would be awesome. And last, we're trying to do just right casts. On this, this is our junior kit bar pro. Okay, that's what we got. And it's awesome. All right? We also want to make sure we got that um, home practice mat because that thing is super soft. Amazing. Makes me feel safe. And it's our goal to make sure that you feel safe at home. Okay. This has been awesome. This is the best part of our week. At least this is the best part of my day. Speaking of, next week, same time, same channel, we're going to be back. We're super excited. We love spending this time with you. It makes us feel like we get a chance to connect and share our information and knowledge with you and make sure that, as always, everybody at home gets the chance to stay safe, try smart, be together. Together. I'm with Ninja Monkey. You can find me at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. As always, we're broadcasting live from Gemini Gymnastics Academy, just outside of Chicago in lovely LaGrange, Illinois. And I gotta say, I absolutely love working with Tumble Track on this stuff. It's so great to be able to connect with their audience, with my audience, with some of Gemini's audience, and just really take the time to say, hey, Here's how we can stay active. Here's how we can have fun at home, right? All right, guys. This has been fun. I can't wait until next week. I'll see you there. Yeah? Rolling day on Monday. It's going to be awesome. Bye, friends.